Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying your design journey. Today we are going to design an interactive slider in Figma and uh, this slider can be used to design the rating experience for the user. The user can use this interactive slider to rate their experiences with an app or a product that you want to evaluate. So let's start. I have added a list of colors that we will use to create the design. Also we will be needing the icons for emojis to build the design and uh, more precisely to define the rating experience. So let's start by adding a frame so that we can design the first stage of the rating experience. I am making it bigger, setting the size to 400 by 400. The color will remain the same white. I am adding a corner radius here to make it rounded corner. Let's add a drop shadow by setting different values for it. 4, 4 and let's say blur equal to 10. Let's make a little lighter, 20%. Now we'll add the UI elements inside this frame. So let's select the angry emoji first. We will start with the bad experience level. Let's make the size of this icon bigger. Well to 150 by 150. Let me change the color of the icon to a shade of red since we are showing angry emotions. I think this will look good. Next I will add the interactive slider that user can slide to rate their experience. So I am adding a rectangle tool here inside the frame. Changing the size its width and uh, height interlining it setting the radius of the corners and uh, changing the color I will add a handle to move or drag the slider this will be a rounded shape circle with white color. Let me adjust its size to make it a perfect circle, changing the color to white. And uh, I would like to add a drop down on it so that it feels like dragging on top of the slide. Adjusting the value for drop shadow. To define the rating levels or scale, we will add small dots at the position of different levels to show these levels of ratings from angry till happy face. So I would be adding here 5 dots to define the 5 level of ratings. These five dots represent the five levels of rating experience or you can say five level of satisfaction, user satisfaction. Just aligning the position of these dots to make the distance between them equal. So this is our first image of the rating experience that we have just created. Just making it a group, the complete slider group 
with rectangle and the its handle. Now we will simply copy this image and define our next level of ratings. For the second one, I am selecting this frown emoji to reflect the next level of emotions. Now I would be changing the color to the orange shade to show the less severity of anger. Also yeah, we need to change the position of slider to the next dot show the next level and uh, also we need to fill the slider by changing the color. And for this purpose I am adding another rectangle on top of it to show the movement of slider to the next level. We will change the color. I am adjusting the size equal to the background slider. We are changing the same width, height and radius. Just adjusting the position. This rectangle will go behind the, the circular handle and uh, so that we can see handle on top of this slider. Right, so this is our second level of rating. In a similar way, I would be designing the third image. Just copying it, paste here. Now we will choose the third emoji to show a neutral face. We will be replacing the first emoji, changing its size and making the color to a better yellowish shade. Show the neutral emotion. Let's move this handle to the next dot to indicate the third level of rating satisfaction. Also yeah, we need to extend this filled area to the same level. Similarly, let's design the remaining two levels, popping the frame, pasting it here. Now we will add the emoji of smiley face, just replacing previous one. It just size, change the color. Move the handle to the next level and just extend this filled area. The last one, copy pasting frame, selecting the emoji of laughing face to show the highest level of satisfaction. Resize it, change the color. and adjust the handle and the slider. So we have all the five frames ready to reflect the emojis, reflect the satisfaction level. The next step is to build the prototype by linking all these frames. First thing is to change all these frames to a component set. Let's select all the frames and you can see different tools appear on this top bar. I am selecting this component icon and let's select this last option create component set. You can see that frames are converted into a component set and each frame represents a variant inside this component. Now we will link all these frames or variants to make a clickable prototype. Let's open the prototype tab and I am going to select the UI element on which the user will click to see the next variant. That UI element is the slider handle since the user would be interacting with this. Select this handle and insert a link to the next frame. 
This will insert an interaction and we can set the properties in this pop-up. The event is on click means this interaction will happen when the user clicks on this handle, this UI element. Property will change to frame 2 means frame 2 will appear. Then we have type of interaction. It is selected as instant. Let's change it to smart animate to make a smooth animation. And how this animation or transition will be done. Let's select erase in and out back. Keep the time as 300 millisecond. Similarly, I am going to link frame 2 to frame 3. Let's select this handle inside frame 2, add a link and set interaction details. Keep all the details same as we said previously. Similarly, let's link frame 3 to frame 4. Now select the last one, link between just dragging it to resize. Set the interaction detail properties. Keep the same frame 4 to frame 5. Set the same interaction properties. Just connecting the last frame again to the first frame. To continue the interaction, we will see this in the prototype. So we have added all interactions from level 1 to level 5. Now I would be adding a separate frame here and insert this component inside the frame to run the prototype. I am going to add this frame and this can be any frame within your design uh, where you want to display this rating control inside your app or website. So I am adding this frame. Let's change its color. I am just adding a few shapes within this frame just to give it a pleasant look. Just adding a few circles and uh, changing their color. Now you can insert the first variant of the component either by copy pasting this variant to the frame or you can simply go to the assets here and select this variant from the list of local components. Just drag it from the list to the frame, center align it inside the frame and select this frame and run the prototype. So this is our output, let's interact with it. I can simply click on this handle and uh, move the rating. I can go from angry to frown to neutral to smile to laughing. Clicking this will move the rating again to the first level. Now there is one more thing. We can make some changes in our design. If we want to move back to the previous level instead of moving back to the first level. Uh, means user can change the rating from laughing to smiley again and then go back. So let's move to the design again. I will just copy the some emoji frames to make more variants, add more variants in this component. Let me add the smiley level by clicking this add icon. The same variant is added in the list. Similarly, let's add all the remaining variants. Now we need to update the links because links are copied along with the frames. Just click on this link and change the destination by dragging it to the correct frame. The interaction details will remain the same. 
we can link the correct frames so that user can click on the handle and move back to the previous level. Right, and the last one will again connect with the first one. No change is required in this frame in our design and we will simply select this frame and click the prototype run prototype button now i can click on this handle to rate my satisfaction level and i can go from angry to frown to neutral to smiley to laughing and then i can go back from laughing to smiley to neutral to frown and to angry so this way you can create an interactive slider using figma and uh, where your user can rate their experience about your app or your product i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe this channel thank you for watching we'll see you again soon